good morning everybody we're gonna do a little modifying to the master built 560 we've got something in the mail check it out we got us a master built rotisserie kit we're gonna get this installed and for Thanksgiving we're doing a prime rib roast on there but we're gonna try it out first with a whole chicken make sure it works right hey we'll be ready to go Let's get this baby installed. What do you say? Shouldn't take us too long. Alright, one of the first things I know we're going to have to do is take these grates and get them out of our way. Then we'll get this box unopened. We'll see what kind of tools we need. Looks like it pretty should be pretty simple to get this thing installed. Alright, let's get this open and see what we got inside here. Bag of wire. Motor. Big old block of styrofoam. Tines. It's all set in this one. Three different rods. This must be for the 1050, the 800, and the 560. And the directions. Let's get this started. Step number one is to remove this plug where the rotisserie is going to go. It's just threaded from the inside. Set the motor on a little slot right here. Take the adapter, slide it in from the inside until the square peg goes in a square hole in the motor. Then this flange adapter, or a flange, or whatever this is, okay, that goes in from the inside and threads actually into the motor. Just like that. Snug it down a little bit. Might be easy to do this with a pair of pliers. There, actually that's good. Good. I guess it doesn't snug it down tight because it's bottomed out inside the motor right there. There's that part. On to the next one. All right, the rod support bracket comes with three screws. It's going to go right there, just like that. Screws out. First one's in a slot, so you're going to put the first screw in there as a hanger. Screw it in about halfway. Slides right in there just like that. Now the other screws are going to be a little bit more difficult. Because you don't want to drop them. One goes right there. Snug it all the way down. Get this crack out of the way here. One on the inside. Snug it down on top. There you go. Rod support bracket is in. Alright, next step, obviously we're taking the short rod since we have the 560. 
we will put those to use on another grill. I'll show you what we're going to do with that. All right, let's check this out. Right here. The 560 sets in the top slot. The bottom slot is for the 800 and the 1050, or the 560, yeah, it sits on top. Line it up. Goes inside the hole. There you have it, just like that. All right. Snug fit. Let's put our meat claws on there. Get these out of here. There's our meat claws. Look at here. Loosen it up a little bit until it slides in. On from this side. Now we'll put these. Have to take them off when we go to put our chicken or our prime rib for Thanksgiving on here. You just have to take one off, obviously, to slide your meat on. This is for visual purposes only. Let's see how it works. Slide that in. Touchy getting this thing in there. It lined up just right there. Right there. Boom. Check that out. Obviously, we're not going to keep this in there. Now, let's wire it. All right, this is pretty neat. There's the end that goes to your outlet. They have several different plugs. I guess some of these are European plugs. Obviously, that one's going to be US 110. These are from other places around the world that we don't use. I'm not exactly sure how this goes in here, but I'm sure it is going to go in and lock. Boom. Click. Hear it? We're ready. That's nice. They put something on there to keep your wires under control. Plug this into the outlet. Plug this into our rotisserie. And it also locks in place. Just like that. Hit the switch. Where's the switch? There's the switch. Right there. Switch is right there. Listen, that's so quiet. I cannot wait to get something on this. We are going to have us a rotisserie chicken today. Yes, sir. -y. All right, guys, that's it for right now. I got to go get that chicken ready and get that on there. I'll put that on this video also. You can see the beginning and ending of that. We'll put some of that Steve Shake on there that we got from uh, Cooking Cop and Babe. And little old Stella, she's going to be loving on this too. Look at this. You want some chicken? You want some chicken? <laughs> oh, one thing. If you remember, don't throw this little plug away that you took out to put the motor on. If you ever take that rotisserie off, you'll want this to be able to plug it whole back up. So you get your new rotisserie if something happens to it. All right, it's time to get this thing lit. We're gonna use our big flame king fire starter right here. Look at this. Oh, that'll light it up quick. <laughs> I'll do nothing but just set it down there. I ain't hitting that nozzle. I'm gonna blow the charcoal out the other end of this grill. We'll be back. We'll get this chicken on here real soon. Today we're cooking on some oak and some live oak and hickory. It's gonna be awesome. Alright, we got this up and running. 
We're going to bring the temperature up to 260 degrees. We're going to get that chicken in there on that rotisserie. Just turned it on. It's already up to almost 100 degrees, 102. Look at it go. It'll get there in just a couple of minutes. All right, first thing we're going to do, took a piece of butcher twine, tied them wings up nice and snug. We'll take us up another piece. Gonna tie these legs together like that. Over here, snug that. Just like that. Get them tagged in, though. That'll hold our bird nice together real good. Now I'm going to take a little bit of olive oil. And a binder. Alright, now. Now for the seasoning. Wash my hands off here. We're going to try out Josh and Bethany's Cooking Cop and Babe. We're going to try their sweet and spicy, spicy er shape. This is from Uncle Steve's. We're going to put this all over this bird. Bit inside. Oh, get in there. Get in there. All right, there we go. All right, let me go wash my hands off. All right, time to connect our rotisserie. We'll come right up in there like so, right out the front. Stick you right in there just like that. This front one. Just like it. Tighten them down. Alright, we are ready to put this on the grill. Come on around here with me. Alright, we are at 273. There we go. We are cooking. I'll tell you what. We are really cooking now. Set this down. Set the timer for about three or hours. We'll come back and give it a temperature check. See where we're at. See you guys in a little bit. Hey, welcome back. It's been two and a half hours. We got about 30 minutes left on timer. Let's take a peek. You're gonna be surprised. Ready for this? Look at that beautiful bird. Two and a half hours. It's about time to stick a probe in there and see where we're at. Oh, but wait. The rotisserie quit turning. The motor's running. We got a dud, boys. No. Well, at this point, I think we're just roasting a chicken. Uh, yeah. 
We gotta get us another rotisserie. Glad we tested this one out first. We'll probe that here in just a minute. Boy, ain't that looking pretty. Mm -hmm. All right, let's cut into this bird and see what it looks like. Slice this breast right here. Look at that. Nice smoke ring in there. This is the best piece right here. You know it is. It's always the best piece right on the edge. Mmm. Yeah, it's so juicy and tender. Even without the rotisserie working. <laughs> that is perfect. I like them spices too. Alright guys, that's it. That's all you get. We'll see you on the next one. Have a good week. Happy Halloween. And there's dinner tonight. Here's our sides for our smoked chicken. Green beans, potatoes, new potatoes. Cut off the chicken wings, throw them in here with them. Make them real good. And there's dinner tonight.